good morning we are off out and as you can see me and mrs c are out and we're not in the countryside we're in our little town of nantwich and we're just walking up to train station today's going to be a little bit different i'm on a workshop with a client today and she wants to do a bit of street photography but not just street photography she'd like to do architecture and art uh, i.e street art so this is going to be a bit of a different video for them that want to watch it and um, for them that don't check out my landscape photography videos i'll put a link up in the corner for you um so yeah let's uh, let's get ourselves this train let's get ourselves to manchester so we can find some street art just want to add that the client we're with um my day is spent concentrating on my client and uh doing whatever she wants and wherever she wants so i'll be vlogging in between when denise is talking to her or when i get two minutes to myself to set up an image or take photographs but i know that steph enjoys because she's been out with us before she enjoys us taking photographs as well because she learns by watching what we do the last street photography we did was more people based and capturing those moments and again i'll put the link up for you if you want to have a look at that one um i'm sure i videoed it i think i did didn't i yes uh, i think i did can't remember sure. if i didn't then there won't be a link <laughs> um but yeah she really doesn't mind us having a camera but like i say for anyone that's watching these thinking that's a bit unfair on your client she's good with it and uh, we work in between people just so i can show you there's a bit of street for you right definitely getting the train So we've arrived at Manchester, Piccadilly, and uh, first stop while we're waiting for our clients to turn up is coffee. So Mrs. C's been in and ordered pastries and coffee, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit and wait and drink these now, and just do a bit of people watching. I need to get my head switched into the, the old um, city position rather than landscape sort of chilled out, so we'll see what happens. We'll get my head into gear. Thank you. Cheers. Right, so I thought I'd just tell you what I was doing with my camera um, before we get going any further. We've got another half an hour to wait before Steph turns up. So I'm gonna set my camera up for my street um, shooting. I've got my ISO on auto. I'm not too worried what the ISO is gonna do because it can fluctuate. It can go up and down. It doesn't really matter because a little bit of grain doesn't really matter on street photography. My aperture is gonna be set to about 5.6. That's probably what I'm gonna be shooting at today. I've taken my focal setting and taken it off a of spot focus and I've gone to a slightly wider focusing section. That way, if anything moves into that area, I can capture it. I'm gonna use a single shot focusing at the moment, but I might use continuous if I'm moving around the streets just to try and get people moving around. I'm gonna put my strap on as well because it's warm and I've got a bit of a sweaty hand because uh, it's quite warm today, especially sitting in here, but the sun is out. It's not ideal, but it's good for shadows. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put my strap on and then if I'm carrying around and I do drop it, it's not gonna hit the floor. I'm using my 16 to 80 today because the 18 to 55 is in the repair shop. Um, I have got my 35 mil with me as well, my Prime, which is equivalent to 50 mil on the Fuji X-T3. And I am using the X-T3 as well, not the X-T4, because I don't really need the screen and so much today. It's gonna be a little bit more guesswork when I'm walking around. And then when we're doing the stuff that my client wants to do, which is um, architecture, um, I've got a little mini tripod with me just in case I need to set it up and try and do some long exposures, get some cloud movement if there is any. And, um, yeah, and if we're doing, you know, we're looking for the street art. Now, the street art, Denise has found an, a website, which is um, Street Art NQ. Oh, Steph sent it. Steph sent it to Denise to have a look at. So it's streetart.nq.com. Street 
www.watfreewatt.com and it's got all the locations with the What Free Words points on them so we're going to use our map to go to these actual locations to save us looking for art which we'll be doing anyway but to save us looking for art we can actually choose to these That's points nice it's not too bad <laughs> I'm videoing as well I do YouTube so it's digital, yeah, it's digital, but it looks like an analog one, yeah, doesn't it? it? Yeah, it, yeah, it's very retro. So, yeah. and if you put the small lens on, it's even more retro. It's, oh. yeah, it's really good little, good little camera for street. So, I had this period in my life when I was really interested in cameras. Uh, I was like 23, which was 15, almost 15 years ago, um, and I bought myself a little one. Uh, I've used it barely. No, yeah. See, so you work in the perfect place. You know, walking around, doing street photography and oh, architecture I was, I was and stuff more like that. Into, um, people. People. Portraits, yeah. yeah. Well, we when we come and did the last street photography, we actually look at people and find people and sort of we got a guy with tattoos and things like that, and we actually do street portraiture oh, and stuff like that, which is pretty good. Yeah. Have you so, got like a website or something? I have. Yeah, but it's more based on landscape photography. Oh, and right. I've, got a, I've got a landscape YouTube channel, so YouTube channel, I have, yeah. Wow. See, I don't know whether I've got any cards with oh, me. Oh, yeah, it says landscape on your video. Yeah, um, let's see if we can find a card. Have you got any in your bag? I don't think so. No, I'm, I, can, I'm, I can just type yeah, it in. Yeah, you can type it in, yeah. You look for Paul Compton. That's me. Human beings are the weirdest, That's us. strangest, oh God, yes. amazing. I'll hit subscribe for you now. You've already oh, subscribed. <laughs> Is it on YouTube, this one? Yeah, yeah that's YouTube, yeah. yeah. So we've got a website as well, which yeah, we can I find it all through that. Um, we have done some street YouTube channels, haven't we? I'm doing a little bit today as well, but mainly we do landscape. I've just been over to the Faroe Islands as well a couple of weeks ago and that is amazing absolutely amazing you know massive big mountains and stuff like that I put that, myself so. out, out there as well because I'm doing uh, gardening and landscaping yeah 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 only just started I've done a little bit uh, of that but I've got my uh, Instagram now yeah got Instagram. yeah oh, yeah you have to don't you Instagram yeah. Facebook Twitter blah, blah, blah. <laughs> got them all <laughs> in your Instagram then let's just stop that I had to stop the camera then, it was cool roll, I forgot I was still rolling, ever so nice, um, he does landscape and stuff like that as well, uh, but gardening, uh, he's got his own Instagram, so he's, I've now got myself a new subscriber, cool, I don't even know where I was telling you about the camera, but yeah, we're ready to go, he just liked the camera, he said it looks really retro, and this is why these little Fujis are really good for um, landscape, uh, for street and stuff like that, because they're very unintimidating, they don't scare people, apart from the fact that I've got a big lens on this one, right, I'm going to shut up, we've got another quarter of an hour to go, so... See you in a bit. We are actually in Manchester now and uh, we're just doing the waiting game. So while we're doing the waiting game, we've got our client with us. Uh, Steph's looking at this first piece of art and the first piece of art is over there. Now I'm not going to use a microphone today, I'm just going to rely on the GoPro. Um, you can see our first piece of art, so what I'm basically doing now is I've got myself three trees set up, a cleanish background using the Premier in building and then I'm just waiting for a person to come in and when the person comes in you can see the people, the man laying down in his back and I'm trying to get a person sort of reaching out to his hands so we're going to see what happens, see if that works I'm also going to add these bikes in and try and get a shot with these bikes in it as well so let's see if this one works right, we've come up a little bit closer now and we're trying to do something a little bit different trying to get these worker bees in so we've got the Manchester worker bees, we've got this nice big grey building behind us and by getting down really low it's really sort of you know, stretching the wall a little bit and looking up so I think that works really really well and I'm quite pleased with that shot for a start but it doesn't stop there, let's get going so we found some more as we're walking up to our next location, the next colourful section we found this, there's going to be street art everywhere you go so we're just trying to help, um, help Steph Ryan to sort of look at things and see things in a different way. I like this doorway, so I've got the camera out and I just like the fact that the doorway, I've got leading lines from both sides, get the doorway nice and straight, and just snap. That's all I'm doing, is just using the camera in a way that's gonna give me something interesting. And also look through it as well, because we've got a nice gap on the canal. The water's coming, well, we don't have to go along the canal. But We're going down on the canal. We're going down on the canal. <laughs> <laughs> Denise is taking charge now. We have, we've got some more street art on the walls, so there's loads of it, look at it all behind me here. I know people say it's an eyesore, but I love it, I think it's brilliant, it's absolutely loads. Look down on the canal now, so we've got a little, bit, a little bit of something different, you probably won't be able to hear me, so I'm going to turn it off, get a couple more shots and put them on the screen for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
nasty little boggers they were yeah. <laughs> right i'm just going to go down underneath here now we're going to have a look underneath the uh tunnel i think this down here is going to give you some really good opportunities i won't be able to talk to you under there because it's going to be pretty dark and you won't be able to see me but i think there's some good opportunities down here underneath the tunnel so i'll take a few shots and uh put them up on the screen for you and have a look There's loads down here. This has actually turned out to be an absolutely great little location. I could spend the whole day just underneath here. This is fantastic. So we've shown Steph a few, or Denise has a few longer exposures to get the ripples in the water smoothed out. But while spending some time and looking, we come across these really, really great, interesting pictures in the water. I mean, if you can see there just in front of me, that's like a barcode. And then you start to look even deeper. I've just seen a three different shade um, swirly pattern then i'm looking for somewhere else i've seen a straight post with a wiggly pattern and things like that there are absolutely amazing little photographs underneath here very very cool if you ever want to come here with me i'll bring you to this little one location we can spend hours just looking at these patterns and weird shapes what an amazing little location but we've got to carry on There's so much more to see <laughs> looking at the lines though all the light always look at your lines and can you do something with the curb or you know is the curb gonna sit in the picture properly or the building behind it or do you need to get down lower or higher 
higher is quite nice because you get that shape of the curbing. You get that nice shape of that curb going through. There is absolutely loads of graffiti in Manchester that I haven't even seen before. There's absolutely tons of it. And I'm just almost just, just taking shots of whatever I can see and find as we're walking around and try and get something that works with it and blend something in, you know, the buildings and the graffiti and the, the windows or something. I don't know, you're just almost making it up. Like here, there's a, I can get in closer to this. There's a, there's a cup on the windowsill. So I've got graffiti and then an old cup left on the windowsill, which I just think suits its image. Steph's enjoying herself, Denise is enjoying herself, and I'm really am myself. So you just spotted something on the side of a building that's gone from gone from the extreme so graffiti to a very artist image, a very nice painting, and you can see it on the side of the building there. It looks really, really nice, and I love stuff like that. Really, really good work, very, very artistic. Uh, it just takes the graffiti to a completely different level, so I'm gonna get a shot of that. I'm going to try and add a bit of grunge to the ones next to it as well and then I'm going to take just a shot of it on its own. some more seedy back streets looking for some more wall art there's plenty of wall art around Manchester is absolutely riddled with the stuff really is good and Denise is really really good with Steph as well she's uh, pointing her in the right directions um, we are just wandering I'm just gonna have a look down here and see what we can find but we're we're looking for a particular thing like so we're using the app to try and find particular things but all these streets are really good and there's absolutely art everywhere are you a lover or a hater let me know in the comments, do you like to see it or do you not? Even this, look, it's Boy George, mosaic, absolutely wicked. I just like that, see, modern art with an old derelict, rusty old building.
sorry. That's all right. Sorry. <laughs> Wasn't that special the door for <laughs> It is crazy how much graffiti there is when you start looking. Really, absolutely immense. All the way down the street behind me, we just saw a very apt one with a, a person and a gun, which is going on in the country at the moment. So I've just taken a picture of that. I tried to get it through the trees and through the bars. We're still looking around. We're still going through the map and just following down all the streets. We are going down some of the most seediest of streets, but it's fun, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is fun. It, it is just fun. it just smells a bit um unsavoury. Yeah. Greasy, pee type of yeek. But yeah, definitely good fun. Let's see what else we can find. There's loads. Let's see what else we can find. We've got to find something pretty amazing in a minute. We've ended up at Castle Town, I think it is. Castlefield. Castlefield, sorry. We're at Castlefield where the four bridges, you get a photograph over that side of four different bridges built at four different times. Um, so just taking a couple of shots of that shows Steph, you know, how to try and get it. The conditions aren't right for it really. And we've got some nice harsh shadows as well. So we try and get in a few shots of the, the little bridge that goes over the canal behind the shoulder. I'm trying to get a couple of sort of dynamic ones, you know, with, with lines and shapes in it. But there's a lot of people that are sort of filling the shot. And now I'm just having a look at this because I think using the tree in the modern building as well, if you're looking at architecture, the really clear blue sky makes quite an interesting background or a non-interesting background, but very clean. Yeah, it just looks clean and blue, doesn't it? So yeah, it's about separation as well. We're always trying to get the separation between the buildings if you can and getting things to blend in. No corners touching or meeting and things like that. So I'm going to keep carrying on around. We haven't finished yet. Still got to be a few more shots we can get. Take loads and end up with a few. That's the way it sort of works with street. Take loads and loads and loads and find the good ones and delete all the rubbish when you get back. I thought it'd be busy actually. It's quite good when reflection in the water. That's quite good. On the long side instead of the short side. Should I be out with you two? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So we are back at Nantwich. Um, I know it's been a bit of a strange video. I don't know if you got anything from it, but it was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it's good. Made a change. Uh, Steph yeah. enjoyed herself. She said she thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, she's got quite a lot out of it, which is always good to know. Um, hopefully you've seen some half interesting, interesting, half interesting, interesting, half interesting photos uh, from the street eye in Manchester and anything a bit quirky that I might have found in the meantime. So don't forget to like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, even though you can't see my hands because it's very dark. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Ciao for now. Say bye. Never one, chippy. Chippy? Yeah. Chippy.